I would have went to school like, yo, we had chicken and waffles with watermelon. It was the yeah. best lunch ever. You know what I mean? But, I mean, like we said in the beginning of the show, there's always those people who are going to say and feel otherwise. Eric Mark, who's right here in Houston, you can find him all over the country, is apologizing for a Black History Month menu. To celebrate the first day of Black History Month, students were served chicken with watermelon. And this isn't the first time Aramark has made this kind of blunder. Be real. Black man, no, we're going to call it what it is. Let's just stay, say what it is. Black History Month, chicken and watermelon getting served. God damn. You want to go first? You want to go first? Who want to go first? I'm going to touch on it briefly. You go ahead. I mean, I'm just kind of, to me, I'm kind of, I'm confused about it a little bit. I mean, because, I mean, I mean, you guys. Because that shit look good as hell. That's why it's confusing, nigga. You know it look good. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong or not. I mean, on Cinco de Mayo, we have tacos, right? Okay. Okay. So. We, okay. And where's the disrespect? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So, okay. I mean, that's just how I'm feeling. Okay. I mean, I may be, you know, insensitive mm. to the subject and what's really going on, but mm. I mean, that's that's the first thing that came to my mind is like, man, Cinco de Mayo, we turn up, right. we have tequila, we have tacos. And we're celebrating Mexican culture. Modelos, Coronas, you know I mean? Tacates. Yeah. So it's like Black Pacifica. History Month. You know, this is this is our month. You know, chicken and watermelon, that's our culture. Is we it? Love, is it? Love. And I guess the fact that it is Black History Month and someone actually thought that this may be appropriate, which once I, I would have loved it. I would have went to school like, yeah, we had chicken and waffles with watermelon. Nice. It was the yeah. best lunch ever. You know what I mean? But, I mean, like we said in the beginning of the show, there's always those people who are going to say and feel otherwise. You know what I mean? But um, you mentioned it's a part of our culture. Really? I mean, really? I mean, watermelon is known. That's like the like black people's fruit. Is we it? love watermelon. But, is it, I mean, Is it? Maybe so, no. Aramark is the food service company. Black Eyed Peas <clears> and <throat> Cornbread? They're the ones that basically serve this middle school. I, look, I think the middle school is in New York. I think it's the way people are reacting to this. I think it's wrong because they made an assumption that this was an appropriate food choice on the first day of black history month. That's supposed to be Fe black history month. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call some shit out real quick. February has turned into the corporate celebration of faking. Like they give a fuck. Period. Period. Like I'm just, I'm just being honest. Don't nobody give a shit. It's just another way for getting people to spend money and 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 fake like, like they actually care about you know the history of of you know black people in this country. So I'm gonna put that out there number one because that's a whole bunch of losers. All these corporations they all engage in the bullshit. I'm gonna tell you how I really feel about this situation. Really don't give a fuck. <laughs> you wanna know why I don't give a fuck? How many black people in this room right now? Four. Four. We just killed a whole box of chicken, whole nigga. Box of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, box. If I was that little kid That's a middle school My son in middle school right now really? I wish they would have some motherfucking watermelon and chicken Facts. Nigga I would have killed I would have been asking for sex seconds like Oliver Twist Please sir I want some more Man, right. have some more, please. <laughs> I'll be like, bro, I'd have oh, circle. Y'all would have had me out there with them Dixie plates with the foil. Nigga, I would have had two or three of them. What you talking about? Like, what is I the actual I issue? I think wait, the, wait. the biggest issue in all seriousness is probably just them assuming that this was appropriate food and saying that it's culture. And I ain't going to lie. When you said that, I was like, mm, yeah, it, it felt some type of way. I don't know if yeah. that's necessarily culture. Right. But I'm going to say this. To say that black people don't like chicken and watermelon is insane. You don't like chicken or watermelon. Something's wrong with you, motherfucker. There's something wrong with you. Right, boy, there ain't no oh better combination. God, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, All there's right, nothing wait, wait. wrong with that. Now, if they were serving some great Kool-Aid, I would have had a fucking problem with it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That That's a meal. <laughs> That's but a then, meal. But then at that bro, time, you, you, bro, you cook it with grease now. <laughs> bro, you gonna let me? You gonna let eat eat that? Oh, and wash that down shit. with some right. with some with some grape soda right. or some grape Kool Aid? Some strawberry soda? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts, bro. Oh, yeah. uh, bro, who shit. turning that down? Nobody. Right Ain't nobody there, turning that down. Where are all these people that don't like chicken and watermelon?